Anthony, clearly a tough series loss to start the second half. Are you at kind of in disbelief where this team is at right now? Um, I, mean, I, I just don't think there's time to be in disbelief. I think we just got to keep grinding and uh, just play better baseball all around. Um, offensively, we you know, we got we to gotta grind together, and uh, pitching has been solid for us. So uh, it's just on to the next now. Have you been surprising to see this team struggle offensively the way it has with the amount of veterans you guys have in the lineup? Um, I think it's just out on the inside. You're you're competing every day and and doing everything you can to to be better for the next guy and be better for yourself. So, um, I I think when you're in the season, you don't look at it as surprising or whatnot. You just want to compete and and get better. Why do you think the team has kind of lacked consistency throughout the season so far? I wish I knew. Um, I wish I knew. So it's it's frustrating on on all ends. And uh, with guys who've been in here and have done it for a long time, we we're equally as frustrated. Um, but we know that that's not going to do anything for us. So we, we got to just keep playing and keep grinding. You barreled up a couple balls yesterday. Just overall, how are you feeling at the plate right now? Uh, pretty much, pretty much, probably like people see it grinding. Um, working through some mechanical things and just trying to compete when I'm in the box right now. And uh, when you get into the, to a rut like this, it's really one swing could, could get you out of it. So it's just getting that feeling back. And I feel like it's it's closer than, than farther. Well, you've played on bad teams before in your career. What tells you at this point in the season that this group is different? Um, bad teams are about 15 games under 500 right now. So I don't really know what to tell you. It's the middle of July, though, and I know you guys are in a very good division, best division. And to be tied for last and just lost a series to a bad team, is that tough to get over? No, it's not. Um, it's, this is part of it, and uh, I know the division looks like that, and I'm sure the headlines will be last place or whatever, whatever place we're in, but we're not far off from the wild card, and we're not far off from being in really second place in this division so it's but then again we're all also not far off from being in last place and, and out of it so it's it's a not an ideal situation we want to be in but um, this time of the year there's no doesn't matter what position you're in it's about getting into the playoffs when you haven't hit a home run in almost two months now does that ever creep in your mind at the plate and do you feel like you're chasing that result uh i mean it's frustrating but i think when you go up there and you just compete uh you just let the rest take care of itself. So um, it's in there. It's just getting back to that good feeling and uh, going from there. How do you let it not let a series or a game like this kind of compound as you guys go forward? I mean, it's what we do for a living. So it's, if we just want to put our heads down and feel bad for ourselves, uh, it, it's never a key for success. So um, we'll get on the plane. We'll. we'll We'll talk amongst each other, and it's all good stuff, and, and be ready for Anaheim tomorrow.